Ryan Wilson here from Predator. We are going to start a YouTube channel that's gonna be coming out with videos on a regular basis. We're shooting for two times a week. We'll be having some more regular videos popping up on a consistent basis. We're gonna be showcasing what we do here in the California location, which is San Diego, California. And then also our Florida location, which is just north of Tampa. Uh, those videos will be coming online here. Just after this one, about two weeks or so, Jason and I, camera guy behind the scene there, uh, he and I are going to be flying out to the Florida location and uh, doing some footage out there and then um, we'll be getting that updated. But a little bit about Predator. Started the business 20 years ago. It was July 4th, uh, 1999. This is state-of-the-art engine, uh, puts out 24,000 PSI. Definitely didn't think that uh, when I started the little business plan for Predator, it would turn into what it is today with multiple locations and uh, parts going all over the world, vehicles all over the world, which has kind of been a lot of fun. So at Predator, we do a lot of uh, Hummer parts, accessories, super high-end stuff for the H1 platform, the H2 platform, and the H3 Hummer. And then coming to the back, we have, we have the shop kind of subdivided into about five different segments. This is the, uh, the main mechanical shop. Three lifts over here, one lift over here, a couple more areas, bays open here to work on vehicles. But this is primarily where we do 99% of all the mechanical work, um, except for the engine lab. Uh, we do some strip down stuff, so you can see like a couple parts here. Dee's working on stripping down some uh, turbos, injectors, sensors, little stuff like that. And then it goes inside the engine lab to get wrapped up inside there. Uh, building the four inch exhaust for this band mamma jamma here. And I got my new piece. Do, 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 do. Just fast forward. <laughs> and expanded it nice and tight. Slide it right up in you. So, how long you been with Predator? Probably about four, almost five years. Five years. As far as the mechanics, I'm the one that tears down, rebuilds the Duramaxes. This one is actually going on that third truck. From what I know, you don't work on these engines out here in the shop. No, was, no, like, no, this, no, no, no. This no, thing's no. just put together right here, right? No, this actually, I brought it out here so I could weld and mock up our exhaust. Because we got our power out here and our welders out here. So, Let me show you where it all gets put together. This is our dyno. I got my new parts, or all of our parts laid out, cleaned up, ready for the new engine. So, I mean, this is a pretty big operation here that, you know, is going on at Predator. Especially, you know, you got the engine lab here, an in-house engine dyno. You guys are able to dyno, it. It, dyno it and get break true numbers. In. Exactly, and we could also uh get into if it if the engine does have any problems we could get into it uh right here at the dyno get to the problem to the source because once you get in, uh the engine into the truck you cannot get into the say an injector or an exhaust leak you can't get to it that easily so you're better off working on it in here nice ac room clean room he just likes it for the ac that yes all. that's that's his main reason for being in here i don't even think he knows how to build a motor it's all about the AC. <laughs> oh, I, saw, I, I saw it on YouTube. I saw it on one of these videos. What is that, Albert? That's pretty cool. Uh, this is the D-ring brush guard. Uh, basically, it's uh, some protection for the H1 Hummer. Hit anything with that bad boy and you'll so be okay. So what are you doing on, on the system then right here? With what this uh, system allows me to do is I can actually design everything on this program and have this machine cut it out. Um, with the notches, basically it'll give me every notch that I need, every bend line, every degree. So exactly what you see there is what this uh, system will actually do for me. Oh, nice, so, nice. yeah. So, so what do you do for Predator? I've been with Predator for five years now. I'm actually the fabrication manager back here. I do a lot of the fabrication, um, designing on AutoCAD, 
and also anything to do with the uh, plasma cutter. I'm usually the one that takes care of things like that. For the example here, these are um, exhaust hinges. If you want a custom exhaust, we can make that happen for you. Uh, this machine has the capabilities of cutting around 200 inches per minute up to, you know, let's say an inch thick material, no problem. We've got a couple different stations. You know, this is a, we should be having a new guy coming in here pretty soon. Um, this is Enrique. He's uh, currently working on some, some feet for our uh, basket roof rack. Comes in either six, nine, or 10 feet, whatever you're looking for or custom. And then- It's uh, like someone off Breaking Bad right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here we got uh, the OG Julio. We got Julio over here. I've known this guy. This guy's been here forever, just like this right, guy right yeah, here. Yeah. How's everybody doing? Been here for oh, 10 years? Yeah, a long time. I got, I got about another seven years to go. Another seven years? Yeah. That's some dedication. I like it. I'm very comfortable. I like what, I like what I'm doing, you know. It's good. All right, cool. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Right, we'll go. Okay, good day, everybody. <laughs> All right, Albert. So yesterday we were filming. We are meeting with Josh, and the camera died. Now we're back here, day two. Back, day two? Back yeah. at it again? We were with you yesterday. Yeah, that's right. We got cut off, so now we're yeah. picking up today. Yeah, but this bumper's been a lot of work. It's been a, a lot of fun to do because it's a lot of new things, especially like on that uh, little ice chest cooler mount, whatever you uh, whatever you decide yeah. to put on it. We've got this uh, two inch flat bar wrapped all the way around it, and we've got a, it's one piece. Around the yeah, entire this is the perimeter. mounting thing that swings out, right? Oh, yeah, so it mounts. Or whatever. Yeah, you can attach whatever you want to it—a cooler, a guns, uh, a barbecue, anything. You strap it down, and it'll hold. I mean, I could stand on this thing, and it'll hold me too. So nice. Kind of the things that we do here—it's really, you know, up to the customer's imagination. Um, whatever you like, you know, we'll try to, you know, do for you guys. Spacers. Two inch suspension lift out of it. Starting out with a nice chunk of solid 661 aluminum. Go ahead and mill it down. So tell me a little bit about this machine and kind of what your process is. The Haas is actually yeah. a California made machine. It's a US made tool. So, uh, you know, we've run the program, designed the part itself. This particular part has a runtime of 12 minutes. Yeah, two of these guys. Right here, fully fill it, CNC it out. There you go. Two inch suspension lift. Right? That's it. Well, it's sure. pretty quick. Yeah. So, how long have you been here with Rotor? 11 years. 11 years? Yes. It's a long time. Yes. Yeah. So then what would you say your title here at Predator is? It's shop foreman. Shop foreman. Can you be more excited on camera? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It's just funny the other way. He's so dull when I'm shooting him, but off camera, like, he's such a clown. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Any projects you can show me that are going on right now? Uh, you know we have a couple trucks shop. outside right now. So, military Humvee, right? Yes. And what have we done to it? Duramax in it. That is crazy. So is this an off-road truck, or can you make these things street legal? I believe like, this one's street legal, but there's a certain time where you could get them legal. He has a plate on it. Oh yeah, he does. Better. Wow. So yeah, that one's street legal. Texas. That's kind of a really cool, cool thing right there. I mean, to be rolling around the streets like this in yeah. a military Humvee that still has everything on it from the military, looks like it just drove right out of it. Some have you know, the base. in it still. 
can't believe Brian let you back in here. <laughs> What's oh, up, Randy? Don't, don't flatter yourself, How are Jason. You? We ain't even friends. I know, I know. I gotta make it look good on camera, oh, you know. Okay. <laughs> so, how you been, Randy? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. How long have you been with Predator? Nine years, two months. Yeah, nine years? It's been that long. Nine years, one month, I think. Wow. So, what do you do for Predator? Uh, fabrication. Uh, fabrication. Randy's not a fabricator, he's a technician. He's old and he forgets things sometimes. Uh, Th this is what happens to you when you don't plan for your retirement. You end up in a place like this. But you get a job anywhere. You go work at Walmart. Oh yeah. You're old enough now to stand at the front door of Walmart. I'm old enough to collect my social security too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, let's go upstairs. We've got an upholstery shop in-house. Uh, we do all our own upholstery work. Um, everything from full interior restorations. We've remolded the factory Alpha interior so we can transplant an Alpha interior into your older H1 or Humvee. Uh, but also with the seats, we go through and rebuild the seats, the seat cushions, all brand new leather, uh, virtually anything you want done, we can do in-house. So here's a couple seats coming up here. They're just about to go into a truck. Coming in here, this is Roy. With the magic hands. That's yeah. what that's what they call me. He's the magician. <laughs> There's a magician. Roy, the magical magician. <laughs> here's a couple seats he just finished up. Quite a bit different from the factory seats. You can see they're like a lot more squared off. They're also really firm, which is awesome to have instead of the kind of saggy mess that's in the H1s. Plus they're like 20 plus years old, so they kind of get a little bit soft over time. Uh, diamond stitch pattern here, kind of went black on black. Some customers will do like different tone colors. They'll do like uh, white stitching in there, red stitching. Uh, you can do red piping virtually. Anything's possible. One thing that few people know is that we've actually remolded the entire interior. So this is a remolded piece from the factory. It's probably like a 98, 99 interior panel, um, and it's all fiberglass. So the factory one is a plastic material that's been molded, and over time and years of having heat, uh, it's going to just like warp this material, the, the plastic material. So with the fiberglass, it doesn't warp like the factory stuff. And then we also have a bunch of samples of leather uh, from black leather, tan. Uh, we had one customer recently that went through this burgundy finish it's kind of cool we have like literally hundreds of samples that we can go through and do virtually any type of leather color combination feel grain pattern uh, you name it we can definitely do it so yeah if you're ever out in San Diego check out the shop it's, it's pretty cool So this is our office back in here. Got uh, Paul Sanderson over here on the phone. Gonna be quiet, he gets angry if you talk loud. This is Joe, Joe does a lot of our purchasing, order entry. Uh, we have an assistant, she's out today. Back here we have accounting lady, Alicia. She uh, keeps all the books in line, keeps us going. Sorry, are we bugging? No, all right, we'll leave, we'll leave, we'll leave. Oh, cool. There you go. All right, always hiring. Uh, so out of the office here, oh, there's Sanderson. He's off the phone now. Say hi. Welcome. Hey, guys, we just got Mel's bumper back from Powder Coats. And on the next episode, we're going to be installing it, talking about the whole build-up process, the tire carrier, um, all these different accessories that are going on his truck. So make sure you hit the YouTube subscribe button. Hang out and watch the next episode, which is coming up here soon. And I appreciate you doing the shop tour with us. Thanks, guys.